Hey, I'm Loli and I'm part of the customer experience team here at Soup. I worked as hotel manager and quality manager and shift my focus later on to the expedition side, being a Zodiac driver, a naturalist and assistant expedition leader. I know how easy it is to overlook the day-to-day -day details of life on board expedition ships and that's where I'm here to tell you all about it so you're fully prepared for this exciting trip. The food on board Polar Voyages is tasty and plentiful and it has an open seating policy, the restaurant on board, so you have a chance to mingle and chat among fellow travelers and the expedition team as well. The settings in the restaurant is either buffet style or table served, depending on each voyage and the meal that you are about to enjoy. There are different options like vegetarian, fish and meat courses uh, and if you have any dietary request, that is not a problem at all. Most diets can be easily um, accommodated on board. What is very important is that you mention that in your pre-voyage forms and you can also contact the hotel manager once you're on the ship to make sure she knows who you are. Tea and coffee is also always available on board. We recommend taking with you a Mac with a lid to make moving around the ship with hot drinks easier and keep your beverages warm. We also suggest you take with you a water bottle. There are refill stations around the ships and it's very handy to take water bottles uh, to the shore for your excursions. Onboard expedition ship, English is the main language unless you've booked a bilingual trip. Most people in the tourism industry speak very good English and your guides will always be English speaking. We understand how important it is charging your cameras and other essential devices. So we always recommend bringing with you a multi plug uh, although on expedition ships most sockets are European, however you will also be in hotels and other locations while you get on and off the ship. Your cabin on board expedition vessels will be kitted with a thermostat to regulate temperature on the cabin. Some cabins, in higher categories particularly, can also have a fridge, a flat screen TV and dressing room. There is a qualified English-speaking doctor on board who can help you with minor injuries. We recommend uh, speaking with your local doctor about seasickness medication and take that on board. Usually there are seasickness tablets on board, but it's always good to have the ones that your doctor has suggested. When it comes to Wi-Fi on board, uh, there are several packages that you can purchase. It's really easy to access, however, internet connection may be limited and affected by the regions that you're traveling and the landscape around you. If you have any questions about life on board expedition ships, your customer experience coordinator will be very happy to help you.